Right here, I have Coach Rocco. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm kind of lost for words right now trying to suck all this, but it was just an outstanding effort by our staff. I mean, we got right to it last week around the clock game plan, and then we thought we had a good game plan in offensively, defensively, and special teams, and our kids executed. You know, they, the captains kept saying, do what your coach to do. You know, and I think they were tired of hearing about Manatee and how the, all the so-called experts, like you said, said it was going to be a blowout. And, uh, I, 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 hey, we executed and, and look, we won the game. I, I'm proud. I'm yes, so proud. Yes, you did, Coach. Coach, even la last week after you beat Boyd Anderson, uh -huh. and we, I spoke with you, you were really a little concerned about Manatee that they actually 51 to nothing. Well, yeah, I mean, they're the, look at their offense. I mean, they do an unbelievable job offensively, and uh, we knew they were going to score their points, but I, I'm really proud of our defense. They just they did their assignments. We had some uh, wrinkles that we wanted to throw in there that we haven't shown on, on film, and it worked. You know, it worked. It was, it was a beautiful game tonight, folks, out there in NCRA land. Coach Rocco has pulled the upset. He goes down with the great coaches now, Coach. Wow. When you uh, when you knock down, you, you still got business to finish, but when you knock the mighty down, you got to feel good to knock off the top-ranked team, not in the state of Florida, but in the nation. Feels good. <laughs> you guys are my good luck charm. All right, Coach. So we'll see you next week in Orlando. See you next week. <laughs> okay. Take care. So we just had Coach Rocco there. This is Coach DC live at NCR with NCRA Sports, and we're right here at St. Thomas Field. There was no losers tonight. Manatee played an excellent ball game. St. Thomas just came out on top. They made a few more plays than Manatee did. Good luck to St. Thomas next week against, I believe they're playing Tallahassee Lincoln. But good luck to them. And Good luck to Manatee along the way. They've had a great season. They have no reason to hang their head. They finished the year the number one team in the nation. So now someone else must claim that crown. We'll talk to you later. Stay tuned. You coached a lot of great teams. How does this one pan out and look to the ones you've coached? Well, I, I, in the way I look at it, I mean, there's a lot of comments in the paper today. And, and you know, we kind of went through the same thing in, in, in 09 when Manatee actually beat us. We were ranked number one in the country, and they, they were all talking about, well, what happened to St. Thomas, and what, what this, and what that, and you know, we're not back because we didn't go anywhere. I mean, we have not gone anywhere. We're not back. We're just what we are, and there was comments made in the paper uh, actually by uh, some people in Manatee. We want to be like they used to be. Well, we're not used to be. We're back, and we've always been there, and we came back in 2010 and won the state championship, the national championship, and you know, I, I think these guys have worked like heck, and after the Don Bosco loss and the Miramar loss, where the kid really wasn't in, but it was still a loss, and these guys stopped the entire season after the Miramar game and counted all the games from then on, and I think now we're 10-0 and and whatever it is, so we just need to finish it up, and I, 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 we will. And you guys saw tonight, our kids played hard, they weren't intimidated, and uh, they played the whole game. and. We got one more week in us, and we'll be fine. Our staff will get these guys going, and we certainly look forward to. We'll be making plans for Orlando tomorrow, and get all that set. We'll go up Friday, and and we'll play the game Friday at seven o'clock. We'll see what happens. But I'm very proud of our staff, and certainly very proud of our guys. And hopefully, we'll play well enough and practice well enough, which I'm sure we will, to have a chance to win number seven.